In a developing story tonight, hundreds of anti-war activists have rallied in Tel Aviv to warn the authorities against a potential attack on Iran. The Israeli government's leading strike calls over to Iran's nuclear program. Campaigners fear the mounting pressure could escalate into all-out war, the effects of which would reverberate globally. Artis Paula Slea has been caught up in the protest. This is the first demonstration of its kind, and it comes after months of increasing war rhetoric by the Israeli leadership. What protesters here are saying is that the Israeli Prime Minister has his own election campaign at heart, and that is what is motivating him. It is a opportunistic way to increase his popularity. And the other one is that he is sincerely believing that he has a, a historical appointment and mission to uh, destroy the, the Iranian nuclear program. He has made himself totally crazy in this direction. A recent poll suggested that some 58% of Israelis are against a military strike. Now, the momentum for this demonstration began about a week ago when an Israeli couple launched a campaign online in which they posted messages of support and love for Iranians. Ordinary Iranians responded with their own messages. So if you look at Facebook and other social network sites, you'll see messages like, Israel loves Iran, we are not at war with your country, and Iranians saying, we love Israel, we are not at war with anyone. Demonstrators I've been talking to say that this call by the Israeli leadership is irresponsible. It will lead to large numbers of people being injured and hurt, and it's not clear how or when any kind of military strike with Iran will end. But whether or not the Israeli government will listen to the voice on the street remains to be seen. Paul Islia, RT, Tel Aviv.